Hi everyone, happy Halloween. It's Halloween and Shane is sitting next to me even though you can't see him. Hello. <laughs> I have my classic Halloween sweater on, love my Halloween sweater. Shane chose to dress up in <laughs> a little bit of a more elaborate costume. If mine is like a two, his is maybe a six. Mine's a nine. Okay, a nine. Um, and he would like you to guess what he is dressed up as, and then we will reveal. So please pause the video, go to the comments, guess what you think Shane is dressed up as. The winner, if there is a winner, receives a lifetime supply of everlasting um, job stoppers. No, no, they don't. We, would, we will not know how to send that. They will just receive our praise and... No one's gonna get it. Uh, we'll see. I'm really curious. Uh, so now, I guess we'll reveal. Three, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. He's Ariel? No, I'm a siren. Shane, I think you're Ariel. I'm a beautiful siren, singing my songs of murder and despair on the rocks. Oh, yeah? Calling out to... Pirates and travelers beckoning them with my oh. beautiful voice. Welcome back to another episode of Monday Drug Bag. Spooky Halloween edition. Your outfit is spooky. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Monday Grub Bag is the series where we answer your questions and we get those questions from the comment sections of our Monday Grub Bag videos. So if you have a question, leave it in the comment section right under your comment about what Shane's outfit was. Uh, is that your siren? Uh, Are you like a failed siren? Like you're my, not good at it? <laughs> my siren song goes, um, up where they walk, That's up cool. where they run. Up where they play all day in the sun. But you're not Ariel. Don't no, call him Ariel. I'm not Ariel, I'm a siren. Okay. Should we start Monday Grub Bag, Shane? Let's do it. Did you pick Halloween themed questions? Not really. No, not at all. I did not know that I was supposed to do that. Wow, okay. Starting with question number one. You've mentioned that Shane had more mobility in his limbs when he was young. Was there a grieving process as it slipped away? Well, that's a very poetic question. Yeah. So I had a lot more mobility and strength in everything. Not just my limbs, like my cough used to be stronger. My ability to hold my head up, my, uh, my swallow. Um, and I think absolutely there's been a lifelong grieving process. That sounds really sad, but it, it's not something that's like overtly a part of my everyday consciousness. It kind of just springs up here and there. Like, I'll give you an example. When I was in eighth grade, I could chew and swallow food pretty much normally. And in the span of like three months, my ability to do so decreased drastically. And I went from being able to eat whatever I really wanted to barely being able to like finish a meal because I would get so tired. And I remember during that phase of life, I was upset like off, more often than not about losing that strength. You adjust that and you get used to it and it becomes not a big deal as it's a part of your everyday life. Here and there, like I'll do to do something even today that I used to be able to do. Like recently, I tried to play video games and found it harder than it normally is for my hands. And there was a moment of like, well, this is annoying. But I'm not also, I'm not like falling into bed, like crying my eyes out. Yeah. It's just kind of like, ugh, that kind of doesn't feel great. Yeah. And then I move on. Or I, I whine about it to him after a while and then I move on. So. Yeah, and I feel like it's less now that you're on treatments for the past yes. like four years. Very good point. You haven't really had as many of those yeah. moments. Yep, I lost most of my strength a while ago and it's been steady now for four or five years, right? Yeah. How long have I been on? I think four years. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe five. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. How would you like people to greet you when they meet you, Shane? Also, we're sitting in front of our fireplace that was on before. I am, I'm dripping sweat, and I don't want to take off my Halloween sweater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dying. That's getting nasty under there. Oh yeah. So if you see some beads going down my forehead, that's why. I mean, honestly, sweaters don't sweat, so I'm not feeling any effect. <laughs> okay. I don't even feel temperature. It's not something that registers. Aren't you like? Aren't you blubber filled? Because you would be in the cold water. Shouldn't you be blubbery? That's offensive, number one. <laughs> number two, no, I have complete bones and human insides. My tail is filled with cartilage, not blubber. But like a way, like you should have, how do, how do you survive with no blubber? You look I'm like not, an awfully blubberless. <laughs> I'm not descended from whales. I would just from, love to see you swimming in the Arctic temperatures. I'm Are you in like the Bermuda area? I am a descendant of King Triton. Okay. The Are great, you Ariel? The greatest siren that ever lived. <laughs> oh my god. How would you like people to greet you when they meet you, Shane? I feel like the typical thing is to shake hands, but I believe you've talked before about how you can't do that. Would it be weird if somebody shook Hannah's hand even though they won't be able to shake yours too? So... Maybe we should demonstrate how this normally goes. If I have my hand up on my joystick here, I put my hand up, and I meet a stranger, they'll often reach out like this. And I normally say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't shake, but I can fist bump. Sometimes they do a fist bump, and we move on. Other times, they do things like, well, not that. I'm sorry, uh, it was going in your face. That's not, that's not what they do. Other times, they'll go like this. And I'm like, oh, no, I really, I, I can't. Or they'll pat my head. <laughs> that hasn't happened in a while. But sometimes people will be like, no, you can. You can shake. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's always a little bit more awkward. Yeah. Like, if I direct you to fist bump, or if I just say, oh, I can't, I have no problem with you just being like, oh, all right. Yeah. Nice to meet you. With your voice. And I, if I'm there, I typically stick my hand out to be like here, so they're not left hanging. You yeah. know, I'm like, shake my hand. Nice to meet you. Yeah, but it doesn't bother me if you shake Hannah's yeah. hand and not mine. I would prefer that. Yeah. Uh, my like ultimate preferred would be that you don't try to shake my hand. That's just specific yeah. to me. I think <laughs> people do it because they don't want to be rude and I understand be like, that. and assume you can't shake hands, but that assumption is correct. So they people, most people try, and it's. Fine. There's it's no, fine. It's yeah. totally fine. But if, now that you're seeing this, if you ever meet me yeah. specifically, <laughs> just just say hi. Yeah. You know, give me a little wave. And I feel like most people that watch our videos don't try to shake your hand. That's true. I think they know. Yeah. Maybe a little peck on the cheek. <laughs> you know, a little kiss. Um. All right. If there was a day that you could redo together, what would that entail, and why? Ooh, that's, that's a good question. Up. Do you have one? Yes, I thought about it, and what I have it? one. I would redo the first day that I visited you, like our first ever visit. Aww. Yeah. You would put yourself through that? That nervous? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, maybe not the day that I arrived, because that was only, like, the evening. Oh, I think the first full day is uh, what I would do, where uh, we had that picnic date that was bizarre, and right. we went to, like, steel stacks, like, all this stuff. I would redo that day, because we were, that was, like, peak happiness. It was. Mine's also about peak happiness. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, because this question, I feel like it could go either way. It could be a day that you want to redo because it was bad. Yeah. And you want to make it better. Yeah. I want to have you also. And I would like to redo the day that we arrived at our apartment Aww. here in Minnesota to begin living together. After packing up all my stuff into my van and driving it across the country. Yep. Well, across half of it. Yeah. Pulling up to our apartment and setting up the ramp and going inside. Yeah, our first dinner. Oh, like, our dinner. Aww. We f we realized there was a grocery store like a block away, yeah. so we walked there and like picked out a ridiculous dinner of like bagel bites and chicken fingers, <laughs> French fries, uh, and we were just so happy that there was no end yeah. insight to our togetherness. Yeah. You know, like we didn't have to say goodbye 
at the end of the trip. Yeah. We were living together. That was four and a half years ago now. I know. So I'm gonna fix this again. Yeah, I can't really see you with this. All I'm looking at is some red hair, Ariel. Okay. As someone who has legitimately watched all 500 plus episodes of your vlogs, I'm dying to know what happened to Hannah's lump. Did she ever get her blood work? Thank you for watching all of our videos. Yeah. I feel like there should be a way that you can register yourself <laughs> for having done so, and then you get yeah. some kind of you like get something. award. Yeah. We should invent that. We should. But there has to be a test to prove that they've watched it. It anyway. should just be on your YouTube account. It should be like, True. you've watched all yeah. videos from this creator. You're right. It Send a note and then we can like do something about it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I honestly cannot remember. Did I get blood work? Give them a brief backstory. Okay. So this was like three Christmases ago. Early on in our channel. Yeah, early on in our channel. And I remember it was like Christmas time. Yeah. Because we were like wrapping presents at the same time as like this lump thing was going on. And I had... This lump, like, behind my ear on my neck. Big lump. Yeah, like, a really weird big lump. And I went to the doctor, and... Do you I even remember? I remember going to the doctor, and she... I did... I think I did get blood work. Because she was like, it's probably just a, like, gland thing. Yeah. They did not think it was, like, any dangerous. Yeah. Whatever. And then I think I got blood work. And it was also, like, a wait and see. Yeah. Type, yeah. It was like, you see if it goes away. Yeah, if it goes away, it's fine. And it eventually went away. <laughs> I'm, I can't believe we just didn't update about my lump. <laughs> Your lump's gone. Lump is gone and it never came back. She was like, it might come back and it hasn't. No. So. Well, keep monitoring it. If the lump comes back, you'll all be the very first to know. That's true. <laughs> Our memory card died. <laughs> or it filled up anew. Wait, we can't see it. I hope we didn't lose anything. We're Remember? just going to pick up where we left off. I just hope, hope for the best. Okay, anyway, what is something a person could wear on a first date that would cause you to get up and leave? If I showed up to our first date wearing this, <laughs> you... uh, I'd get up and leave. I mean, I think it would have to be like something extremely offensive. Yeah. Like, like a shirt with a slogan that I'm like, oh my God, how dare you? Yeah, like something really hateful. Yeah. Um, Other than that, I, I don't think I would get up and leave at anything. Yeah. Or something to tell me that they were like completely unhinged. Like, oh, yeah. like if they showed up naked. Yeah. You know, for a minute it would be like, haha, but then it would be like, what? Yeah, what? that's what are you true. Doing? You know? Bloody clothing. Bloody. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't like, there's very little else. Yeah. That I would leave right away. Leave. That would just feel really rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It would have to be. Leaving would have to be less rude than whatever they're uh -huh. wearing, you know, like I'm not going to be the rudest one Okay Shane, oh, I love this question. Shane, have you ever accidentally rolled over Hannah's feet? Ooh. I wait, no, no, it's not done. I imagined you would obviously feel bad After doing it, but I feel like y'all have a pretty healthy and happy relationship that you guys would laugh about it We're gonna have an I argument right think now. So too, but I have a story for you I'm interested to hear how this story is told. I'll be the fact checker. Go ahead. No, you will not. Okay. So Shane has rolled over my feet maybe like three times and only once was it like a full roll and it was an accident and it was fine. The second time that Does it he... hurt? Does it hurt badly? No, not badly. It was like, I think I had okay shoes on. It hurt a little, like it hurts, but yeah. it, I wasn't like, oh my God, I think my foot is broken. Yeah. I was just like, ow. Yeah. Okay. The second time this happened, this is a great story. We were at a fundraiser for Laughing in My Nightmare. It was like the, their winter ball or something, okay? Shane is talking to people. At the time he was talking to his college friends who just like happened to be at this hotel and he was like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in so long. They're talking. And I don't know anyone, so I'm just like lingering around. Poor me. This is like my worst nightmare to be oh, at a party. She's playing the victim already. You know, but th is this accurate? That yeah. this is my worst nightmare? It is your worst nightmare. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not playing the victim. I'm being accurate. I do not like to go to parties. I don't like to talk to people. And I didn't know anybody. Like, there were like four people, Shane's immediate family, that I knew. They're all not in this immediate vicinity, okay? <laughs> so I'm just standing next to Shane being like, okay, I'm just going to stand here while you talk to these people that I don't know. You're reminiscing about things and I was not here for them. And I'm like 
this, like kind of standing next to Shane, and he, ignoring me, rolls over my foot, okay? Just like moves forward as if I am just not a person, rolls right over my foot. As if you're not a person. And I leaned down and I was like, Shane, what the F? But I said it in like a joking manner. That. Yes, I did not say it angrily, Shane. That checked. No, it was, what the? No, we were at a party with people all around. I did not I say mean, it like that. I scream it. I said, Shane, what the? Very That's exactly how I said it. Sternly. Because was... he ignored, I gave him like five seconds, nothing. It just a blump over my foot. No reaction from him. He's just continuing his conversation. So I'm like, Shane, what the F? You just rolled over my foot. And he, what did you even say? I don't know, but I got mad. He got mad back. Because he was like, I didn't realize I ran over her foot. And then the immediate anger uh -huh. that I felt from you felt unwarranted. So then he got angry and he was like, Jesus Christ, I didn't mean to. And I was like, oh! And I just walked away and I had to spend the rest of this party for like 20 minutes until we made up. Alone, and you just stayed with your friends. That was so yeah. mean. I finished the conversation. I wandered and then around I this party. Went to find my poor victim of a wife, and I apologized for maiming her foot and abandoning her at the party. I can't believe we had that fight. You were so rude. I did. We fought like multiple times about it too. Yes. And later that night, we brought it back. Yeah, up. I was like, hey, by the way, do you apologize? <laughs> you did not apologize at the party because we wouldn't have thought about it later. Yeah, you definitely came over and you were like, we have to go talk to Blank. And I was like, fine, I'll trail behind you then. So yes, I run over her foot. And he, yeah, I think that obviously he should feel bad also, but he does not always feel bad about it. If it's, um, well, no, I didn't feel bad in that moment. And that's wrong. Now I do. I'm sorry I hurt you. That's barely it. Please stay out of my peripheral. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Have a great Happy Monday. Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> See you next time. Eat lots of candy. Bye, everybody. Oh, 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 oh. The sirens.